Okay, this is the final modification. Um, the inside we have the Ever Ready starter, starter battery from Walmart for about $27, $26. Uh, went ahead and modified this uh, uh, connector going from positive up to the on off switch. And uh, other than that, I had to strap in the transformer on the side so that it wouldn't fall out just while I was assembling it. All the other wiring hooks up exactly the same. The charger works the same. This is uh, going to be a part of the uh, for the uh, auxiliary power over here. That's already that's all standard. I'm not changing that. Um, that's also for the pump. There's a little pump on the other side, and that's also going to be always connected for ground. It goes through this uh, fuse over here, so it always has power. So one thing you really turn on and off is the jumper cables um, and the circuit board when you flip the power switch on. Um, these uh, cables on their side, I haven't modified, modified them at all. They'll hook up as exactly as before. It's just that it will have a larger starter battery now. And then the last thing will be to put on the uh, uh, threaded rod that will hold this battery from tipping out the front of this cutaway. Uh, will be the last thing I do. So essentially this is the threaded rod. It's going to go in right here and hold the battery from tipping out. Other than that, it should work exactly the same, uh, just with a lot bigger battery and a lot better performance.